What's up guys and welcome to the very first series I am starting of gameplay commentary. Uh, in this series I am going to be centering one of the best RTS games in existence, Command & Conquer Zero Hour. Um, I recently got back into this game just out of excitement for the uh, announcement of Generals 2, if you guys are wondering. Um, I'm not going to get my hopes up. EA has destroyed several of my games before. I'm looking at you, Red Alert 3. But, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, this is a heads up about the series. I'm going to be going through the Generals challenges. If you guys have ever played this, uh, you'll remember them. If not, just give you a brief explanation of what they are. You in in this game you have nine different generals that you can choose from, and they each have their own different abilities. Um, in the generals challenge, you choose one of these generals to fight every other type of general um, that is not what you chose in a fight against the AI up until the boss general. And uh, my goal is to take you guys through this experience, um, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started there. Alright, so let's go ahead and start this up. I'm going to be uh, playing as the Air Force General on medium. Um, wish I could play on hard, I'm just not nearly good enough for that yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys listen to the intro cutscene when it loads up, in case you're interested. Ah, greetings, General. Do not think I cannot see your spies flying over my base. Please, look all you wish, because this may be the last time you ever see my stronghold. As you can see, my defenses are impenetrable, and my toxic weapon systems will poison your troops long before they can reach me. Prepare to tell your three-eyed grandchildren of your defeat this day! Alright, and this is the intro part of the game, not terribly interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and speed it up about tenfold. Um, you know, basics here, getting the reactor up, getting my supply depot, and of course the barracks. And you're going to see me right here, you're going to see me start placing down uh, Patriot missile defense systems next to the uh, oil derricks, because from previous previous experience I uh, know that he will send uh, bomb trucks and other nuisances from your left and right there, but the uh, main point of attack is going to be the bridge that you're going to see in just a second. Um, being the Air Force General, I am going to start off with an airfield, and actually, through this entire match, I'm not going to build a single war factory because I just, you don't really need it as the Air Force General. You'll see why here in a second. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Air Force's powers, he is evidently good with planes, and as well as the uh, Comanche, which is the helicopter, another basic air unit. Um, some of the upgrades he gets include uh, camouflage Comanches, which is that's probably the most kick-ass thing you can get here, as well as the uh, King Raptor, which is just about impossible to kill by any missiles, which is extremely useful here against the GLA. Um, what you'll see I just did there was I used one of the toxic containment centers. I uh, blew it up and it allowed me to take out one of his stinger sites there early on. Um, I'm just trying to get sort of a grip of the base here and have everything planned out. Um, just as a disclaimer, I am by no means perfect at this game, so you're going to see me do some very stupid shit. And I will comment on when I do do stupid shit. Um, so right now I'm just getting up some basic defenses here, trying to keep my oil derricks safe. Um, if you're not familiar with the game, again, oil derricks are uh, a way of earning extra cash inflow. Um, very crucial if you want to keep a steady army flowing out. Uh, not to say that I'm perfect at macro. So I'm going to go ahead and carpet bomb some of the defenses over there. Um, I choose the search and destroy upgrade, which increases the uh, range of all of my units by, I believe, 20%. Um, this is key in allowing my uh, both Raptors and Comanches to have a, an edge against enemy uh, anti-air. Because um, if they can shoot before the enemy anti-air can see them, then, you know, it's good, evidently. Um, you're going to see me pull a really stupid move right here. I completely drop my power for a good 15 seconds because I am not paying attention to my power bar at all. Like I said, not perfect. But uh, things are about in a uh, 
pretty much locked down here. Um, I've got this initial set of Comanches. I'm going to use them as a early base defense because the Tox in general really does not throw much anti-air at you. Um, you're going to see right here, I actually let those suicide bombers get to my base because I have misplaced my Comanches in the top left corner of the map when really I should have them guarding my uh, center of the base. Um, you're just going to see me kind of going around trying to get as much uh, ground control as I can here as I build up my King Raptors. Um, here in a second you're going to see me hotkey my airfields because I get tired of bouncing back and around. Really it's something that you should do, hotkeying your buildings so that you can uh, keep your unit production up even when you're out doing other things, uh, micromanaging your other units on the other parts of the map. Um, I mean, pretty much lol right now. Uh, this is, again, going back to the toxic thing. You're going to see me use the toxic containment here to destroy the uh, gunners at the stinger site so that my uh, Comanches can get in there and destroy that without anything uh, harming them. Of course, you see me kind of race against time here, trying to rush back and destroy these suicide bombers running towards my base. Um, if you're wondering why I'm not building base defenses, really the only thing I can tell you is that I think a best uh, best defense here is a good uh, set of air patrols, uh, and that's what the Comanche serve as. Because once you get that camo upgrade in there, I mean, there's really nothing stopping you. Okay, so I've got my first set of raptors here. Um, you're gonna see me start sending them out to do a couple of bombing runs out, I'm trying to clear this initial base defense that uh, Toxin General has set up. Um, at this point, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Um, gonna be completely honest, I've got six Comanches which are completely camouflaged. So, provided I'm not stupid and uh, keep them away from base defenses, they are going to take care of most of the things coming towards my base. Um, I'll just let you guys uh, watch the show for a bit. I said it's kind of a lull in the storm. You just send me see my uh, see me send me see see me send my Raptors out to do these uh, air patrols, and that will keep them uh, refueling and keep them flying back to that area to destroy the buildings. Um, this is just a way of, you know, easy way, like, if you're lazy, like me, and you want to just send them in there to do whatever, this is the best way to do it. You just send them to patrol an area where you know they're going to be buildings to destroy. Alright, so I'm moving my Comanches up here, going to go ahead and take this up, uh, plateau next to the bridges. I'm going to build some more Comanches. You saw me right there. I uh, hockeyed to my buildings even though I didn't have to bounce back to them. Um, I'm going to use a satellite scan here because I know from previous experiences that there are a bunch of bombs on the ground here. Uh, you may wonder, you know, what's the point of destroying them if you aren't going to have ground forces, and that's just for very, very easy ways to upgrade my Comanches and rank them up so that they do more damage. Um, you notice I actually start taking damage from a stinger site there, so I decide to go ahead and uh, take care of that through means of bombardment. So I continue to build more Comanches at my uh, airfields there. Um, at this point, I'm you know trying to figure out why I just let those tanks come in, and it's because I took my main form of defense. Like I said, that's the trade-off of not having these Patriot missiles guarding my base. Um, I have to make sure there's at least something guarding the area. So I'm going to go ahead and send in my Comanches here and take this left corner of the map. It's not, you know, too crucial, but it does prevent a lot of the income that the uh, my enemy is getting from the toxin, from the toxin from the oil derricks. Talk about a brain fart there. Alright, so I'm just sort of scouting out the area over here. Um, he's gonna have a lot of base defenses that I'm... You're gonna see me smash my head against a wall a few times, not gonna lie. Uh, trying to get my Comanches through those base defenses so I can start doing things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and capture this uh, oil refinery. Uh, reduce the cost of my vehicles if you aren't familiar with, you know, some of the utility buildings that you can capture in Command and Conquer. 
Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy his oil derricks. I was, you know, debating whether I was gonna capture them or not at that point. In the end, I decided not to. Have my uh, dozer drop down a supply depot. Just another means of getting supplies every once in a while. Alright. You can see me upgrade my gunner ability here, my airstrike. And I'm going to use it to, you know, I'm a little bit indecisive here, trying to figure out where the best place to drop this bad boy is. I'm going to go ahead and decide to drop it on their palace. Um, I'm not sure why I chose the palace when, you know, there's really no threat that it poses to my Comanches. Because typically what you'll see is they'll load these palaces up with several uh, rocket troopers. And those can be a pain in the ass for any vehicles. But, you know, they weren't. Now, right here you're going to see an example of what I would consider the stupidest AI mistakes and you are going to watch that single quad cannon eliminate like just completely decimate my king raptors here because they are just oh gosh what a mess um, even though they're on patrol if they're getting shot they don't always react to it I learned that the hard way in this game I lost several of my king raptors there um, to a single quad cannon because it would shoot them when they couldn't respond to it they just, you know, decided not to react. Um, you see, I'm keeping the Comanches in, thinking I could maybe take out one. That was a terrible mistake. My Comanches get completely obliterated. I lose three of them. All of my pilots die. I think, you know, maybe he'll survive. He lands a toxic waste. So, again, this goes back to the I am not perfect statement. So I'm going to go ahead and get my fuel bomb, and then go ahead and upgrade to the uh, AC-130, that's what I call it. I know that's not what they call it in game, but let's be honest, it's pretty damn similar to the AC-130 once I call it in. Lost. I go to the uh, command center, not the command center, the strategy center, start uh, upgrading some of my things, get my fuel bomb up to the maximum ability. Have my Comanches over here just sort of hanging out, trying to figure out what to do with them. Um, you notice I'm getting a little bit worried about that scud storm there. The timer isn't too low, but I want to keep an eye on it. I do not want to let that scud storm go off because it will just be devastating to my base, and that is not something I want to deal with at this point. Um, as you can see, these Comanches are more than capable of taking care of those quad cannons. All right, so you're gonna notice I start stacking my planes over here, grouping them together, and I start uh, guarding them. Um, this is just so that I'm, I'm trying to keep them away from any and all base defenses. So this is my uh, push against the Scud, scud okay. missile right here. Go ahead and bomb some of the uh, sites. Got my m mother of all bombs, the uh, Moab upgrade there. I'm going to go ahead and call in the AC-130. Um, you'll notice he dropped an anthrax. Again, because I'm the air general, I am not worried about that. I lost a single dozer, and that's about it. All of my units are in the air, and Anthrax really is useless against me. Um, so you notice that the base defenses are weak there, so I'm going to call in the AC-130. And it's going to fail miserably, because they're even with all those down, it's just it's a mess. I think I might get one Stinger Sight down in total, as I uh, bomb that area over there. But it inevitably gets taken down very quickly. But I decide to uh, send in my raptors here over the mountaintops to eliminate these two stinger sites. And I also bring in my Comanches to try and take out some of these quad cannons and hopefully get a decent amount of these guys down. Um, I'm racing against a clock here, and they actually build... It's a very bitch thing about the GLA is their ability to re construct their buildings even after they've been destroyed theoretically and you're just gonna notice the rest of my Comanches just go down I don't even attempt to pull them out of there it's just a lost cause at that point Unit lost. um scud storm I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it off here with a single airstrike and pull my raptors off to the side once more um and apparently I'm just going to sit here and stare at the screen for whatever reason. So my raptors are going to branch off here to the left. I'm going to have them guard there. 
so there's the scud storm scud storm is down without much of a hassle there um what you're going to see right here and i again advise you against because it's just a in my opinion a fault in the ai you could also call it me being stupid and not paying attention to what's going on you're going to see those king raptors i have guarding um get completely destroyed by those three quad cannons because I'm going to watch these quad cannons just sort of roll in. And I just, you know, leave my raptors there thinking, oh yeah, they'll be able to handle three quad cannons. And I come back and it seems that they're all gone. Um, you see me try and bring these choppers in and it's just, it's a massacre. It, they get destroyed, I don't even get the stinger sight completely down. And uh, lesson learned there, it was a very brutal... Uh, Unit lost. And you know, there it is right there. Notice how many raptors are missing now? A shit ton. Much more than there should be gone. I just lost five raptors because they refused to attack the quad cannon that was shooting them. But you know, that's life. Um, I'm not sure why it's black screening there. Welcome back. Alright. So I got my pod of very highly upgraded uh, Comanches over here. Um, at this point I'm trying to question myself why I don't have the rocket pod upgrade, which would be extremely useful for taking out some of these buildings. Um, you'll notice that I am I fly them in a bit too close and I almost lose one of my Comanches here to a uh, Stinger site. So they're weakened. Again, this just goes back to me not being a pro at this game. I'm not going to lie and say that I'm amazing at micromanagement or that, you know, I never, you know, just days off. Alright, so I'm rebuilding my raptors here and then resupplying my Comanches since that first attack was just brutal on them. Um, revealed the map there and realized that there was a war factory that I was not aware of in the bottom right here as well as some garrison buildings. Um, I could take the risk and assume that those are not garrisoned with shit tons of rocket troopers, but knowing how evil this game is with some of the general's challenges, I decided to bomb it just for good measure. And as you can see, there is quite a lot of rocket troopers in those buildings. Which is why I took the precaution there of destroying it first. And you're gonna go ahead and see me send in my raptors, raptors to uh, take out that war factory. As the game goes on, you know it's a uh, it's. I guess this is a good example of what not to do in some regards because you'll see me. I could very easily be pulling in more supplies. I could be expanding out. Um, hopefully, these videos will get better as the uh, series goes on. But yeah, I've only got two airfields at this point, which I really should have more. I should have fleets of these Raptors because, as you can see, they are quite resilient against any rockets that fly at them. Um, you can see me frantically trying to target this uh, bomb truck because I am not sure if my Patriot missile is going to be able to take care of it and evidently it is not able to. Try to move my marines out of it but lo and behold toxins will make them melt. Such is life, I suppose. Um, Alright, so I've got my raptors rebuilt here. I uh, got their war factory taken care of, finally, might I add. Because apparently that was supplying a lot of the uh, attacks on my right side. Um, got another anthrax bomb flying in there, if you saw that. If not, you know, you're not missing much, but you're just going to see him drop another bomb. I freak out for a second thinking that my raptors might be in danger while they're uh, landed on the airfield. But for whatever reason, they're uh, not taking damage, so no complaints there. But after this, I'm going to go ahead and send them out there to guard that left side of the map again so that they're not even at risk of any ground units. Alright. So at this point, I am pretty confident that I'm building up forces that I'll need to uh, finish this off. Just going to bomb several portions of the map right here in an attempt to clear things out. It's the mother of all bombs, one of the most beautiful things. Just watch the vehicles fly. Alright, so now I feel it's safe to bring in my AC-130 to do some damage. Uh, my first target is going to be those quad cannons, evidently. I want to get all air, anti-air, out of there. Um, 
But instead I go for the palace, and I'm not sure why at this point, because... Yeah, there we go. Aiming towards those quad cannons. Get shot down again, but not without taking out two of their quad cannons. Alright, so I'm going to bring my raptors in here, finish the job. You may be thinking this is going to be a uh, repeat of what happened last time, and in some essence it is. Uh, the Comanches are going to get uh, scarred a bit, but they are going to make it out alive, and I'm going to deal quite a bit of damage in the process. Um, I'm sure this match could have been over maybe ten minutes ago. I'm just thinking back on this game. Just, I played very poorly. I did not macro at all. And if, again, if you're not familiar with some of these RTS terms, macro is building up units and micro is managing them once I have them built up. Um, so I get in there, I start taking out the uh, command center. I'm going to get away with that. And you saw right there, I bounce back to upgrade to rocket barrage. Because at this point, I'm thinking that, you know, I really should have it to help take out these buildings. Um, I'm. You're going to wonder for a second why, you may or may not know, but because these helicopters are camouflaged, I need to keep them away from just about any stinger site, including the, uh, uh, what are, I don't even remember what they're called, the tunnel networks. I cannot bring them near there because that will reveal my Comanches and make them vulnerable, even though they cannot directly attack my air units. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and launch my raptors again to the left side of the map so they can avoid some of the air defenses. And you can see me bring them in to take out some of the key targets here while my Comanches wait off to the side. Um, I go ahead and fly in there and take out their Scud Storm here in a second since there's no sense in having that half-constructed thing there. It's all right there. I used grouping to just select my raptors and bring them in to deal some damage. There's the other pair's gonna fly over the mountain here. Obliterate that one. And now that I'm confident that the area is safe for my Comanches, I'm gonna start bringing them in here. Get a bit more aggressive with my helicopters. Not before waiting for these uh, quad cannons to get right underneath them, though. Alright. So at this point, it's it's pretty obvious that he's not coming back. I've got his command center down. He really is not making too much supplies here. Um, you're going to see me sort of do these sneak attacks from behind the mountains that he is not able to defend against very well. Watch me do a rocket barrage here and just obliterate his arms dealer, which is crucial at this point for him. He's going to need it for his quad cannons, which you know, are my biggest threat at the moment just completely destroy that with a rocket barrage and move them out of the way there, camouflage them. Um, I'm going to pull in another AC-130 attack here and destroy those quad cannons because even though four does not seem like that many, it is a very potential danger to my Comanches. So you see me flying in my raptors there, just taking out more of the buildings, and I'm going to go ahead and bring in the AC-130 right now and destroy the quad cannons. Let's go ahead and wait for that to occur. Unit lost. Go. So that was a mission accomplished. Even managed to take out the stinger site as well as deal some damage to the arms dealer. All right. Unit so at this point, I am feeling extremely confident. So I bring in my Comanches and I start finishing this battle once and for all. And uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video for you guys. So, give me just a second. Okay. So, moving on. You'll just see me sort of flying around, finishing things off, picking everyone out. Nothing special here. I'll let you guys listen to the sped up sound for a while. I actually noticed that uh, he rebuilt his arms factor down here, which kind of annoyed me. But, you know, it wasn't too hard to fix. Bring it back to regular speed here, because this is the end of the game. He's pretty much, he's lost all means of building his vehicles. He does not have enough supplies to continue much longer. 
I'm going to finish it off by destroying his last significant structure. Uh, any structure that's not a base defense is considered significant here. So that supply depot will take it out here. And that is the battle against the Toxin General for the GLA. You are victorious. By the Air Force General. And uh, up next, we will be fighting the Nuke. And I'll go ahead and let you guys watch that intro cutscene if you want. And your base will glow like the sun. <laughs> We've got to clear the area. Destroy everything. Get in formation right now. Enemy sighted. We have been waiting for you, General. Please accept our gifts. More gifts, General. Our generosity is limitless. Right, because using a nuke on two tanks is completely justifiable. Now, General, I think you understand. All right, why so I'm next part in the series, I will nuke. take out Shitao the Nuke, as he calls himself. Later, now guys.